says here, Simon McQuay says Mortal Kombat can stay faithful and add new fans. You're probably wondering why the title says like this. Add new fans. But those who haven't heard of Mortal Kombat, who don't know what Mortal Kombat is, I think the new generation are going to learn about the Mortal Kombat franchise as a whole. Yeah. Let's see what the article has to say. In a matter of days, the new adaption of Mortal Kombat will finally debut since its first installment in 1992. The fan favorite franchise has made violence and gore and trademark of the many video games and other media that join the larger Mortal Kombat universe. And it looks like Warner Brothers hasn't sugarcoated the upcoming movie either. According to director Simon McQuaid, they worked to present those trademarks to a new public. Also attempted to please hardcore fans by not staying too far from the source. Now, what this part of the article is in, what it's saying about Simon, he's saying that we're trying to please the new and hardcore fans of the Mortal Kombat franchise to stay too far from the source material because Based on what I'm seeing from the trailer, looks like they're staying to the source material. They may have changed some things, but the source material is still there. You just gotta watch it and understand it. We really did consider the new fans a lot in this film, but we always felt that we could I mean that we could respect the fans and the material and not alienate anyone new, McQuay said while talking with comicbook.com. We wanted to actually expand it out to new people rather than change it to make it easy for new people. So that was quite a fundamental point of view going in. But it's like, no, no, let's expand it out so more people can enjoy the truth of what's here rather than change the truth. I like what he said, you know, while he said that while we should probably expand it to the new people, while not changing everything from the original source. So I like how he's paying respects to the source material and not screwing with the fans' mind. So that's a good part about it. The movie should have debuted in January 2021, but it was rescheduled following the COVID-19 outbreak. The reboot wrapped the principal photography in December 2019. It was intentionally going to re reinvene for reshots I mean reshoots in spring 2020 with the pandemic forced the cast and crew to postpone their on-set appointments to fall after the latest and hopefully last uh, postpone it the reboot of Mortal Kombat will hit theaters in HBO Max on April 23rd I believe this franchise has its place in the universe as long as the first film this film does well in the box office because according to the fans overseas, they're already in love with the movie. And so far, we hear nothing but positive feedbacks, especially on Twitter. According to my boy, future boy Kamikaze, go follow him on Twitter where he posts everything about the Mortal Kombat reboot updates. And you know I'm not going to be doing nothing to well, you know I'm not going to stop doing videos on Mortal Kombat until the movie is released and I'm going to get my review on of it. So, like I said, I'm not playing, y'all. When the movie comes out, I'm going to do my review of it. That's the promise. So, getting back to what I said about the article. Simon McQuaid is actually saying that even though he's trying to, they're trying to please the hardcore fans like myself and everybody else who have been supportive of this movie, but at the same time, they don't want to go further back from the source material. And like I said before, they may have changed everything from the source material, but they're staying true. And if you look at the trailer alone, everything is just like in a video game. But at the same time, people may not realize that this is actually before the actual tournament started. Take it as you will.
What's your thoughts? If you want the article, I will have it in the description below. You know what to do. Put it in the chat.